I had no idea I was missing out on an actual time-saving utility for Mac. Shout out Snazzy Labs and their latest Mac apps video for showing me this app. I highly recommend watching their video on it. So the app I'm talking about here is Shotter and it's basically like Screenshot X but better and free. It replaces the original Mac screenshot tool with a new one, but it looks exactly the same and brings so much more cool time-saving stuff when it comes to taking and editing screenshots on your Mac. The only difference is when you install Shotter, you now take screenshots with Command Shift 2 instead of Command Shift 4. That's it. So here are the features of this app I love most. When I take a screenshot, a new preview window appears and then if I'm happy with it, I can drag it into my desktop or any finder window and it'll save it there. If I'm not happy, I can do two things. First, just hit escape and retake the screenshot, comparing this with the default tool, you have to click on the screenshot first and then hit the trash icon to delete it. Second, press enter and edit the screenshot. And here Here's where the best things hide about this app. I'll touch only on my favorite features since there's a lot of stuff here. Right away, I can just drag to select and click enter to quickly crop in. This process would be a lot more tedious in the default screenshot utility. Next, if I know that I'll be deleting the screenshot instantly after I send it to someone, I can click copy and it'll just save it to my clipboard and close it out without saving the screenshot anywhere on my Mac. Also, there's this icon to just grab and drag the screenshot somewhere, which will also close it out and get rid of it for me after I drop it somewhere. What's cool is that this is available from the preview window too, but I don't want to edit the screenshot. I can hit command C when it opens and it's ready to be pasted. Now this app, if I want, can act as a separate image markup tool in and of itself. I just right click any image and open with and I can edit the photo there. This is where the program really shines and is miles ahead of the default Apple's markup tool on Mac. So first, with the blur tool, I can draw a rectangle where I want to blur the screenshot. Well, this is nothing special until you realize that there are also options to blur only text, to use content awareness and erase the area completely. It's crazy how well this works. Or erase only the text completely. That's some next level AI. Next, if I'm taking a screenshot to explain something, I can add numbers for a sort of step-by-step -step tutorial on what to press. Or I can use scrolling capture if I want to screenshot an entire web page which doesn't fit on my screen. The little things like arrows look so much nicer and modern compared to the default screenshot tool on Mac. And they're also much more customizable. Once you screenshot some text, you can click the this A icon here and it'll extract and copy all the text that's in that screenshot to your clipboard. Speaking of text, it looks a lot better too. And if you want to get rid of the speech bubble, just click on it and drag it in. Moving over to the feature that I absolutely love and that's the ability to copy the hex code of any color within the screenshot by just clicking on the color. And so I can now paste the color within Photoshop without much trouble. There's one minor annoyance though, and it's that I must enable notifications for this app in order for it to stop giving me annoying pop-ups after every screenshot. But a workaround is to enable the notifications, but then select none in the settings so they don't appear even though they're enabled. But honestly, there's so many utilities for Mac that literally save hours every day, and without them, it's almost impossible to be productive, especially with an out-of-the-box macOS experience. So I've put all the best utilities I use in this custom playlist here for you to watch next. Trust me, there are apps you've never thought could exist.